Welcome to day one of our 21 days. Through the 21 days, we are reading through Mark's Gospel together. So each day there'll be a video like this and there'll be an opportunity to see someone who will read uh, our passage for the day. So I'm gonna start from Mark chapter one, verse one. The beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the jo river Jordan. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt round his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message. After me comes the one more powerful than I, the straps of whose sandals I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son whom I love, with you I am well pleased. At once the spirit sent him out into the wilderness and he was in the wilderness for 40 days being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals and angels attended him. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news of the kingdom the good news of God. The time has come, he said, the kingdom of God has come near, repent and believe the good news. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. When he'd gone a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat, preparing their nets. Without delay, he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching, because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers as law. Just then a man in their synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out, what do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, said Jesus sternly, come out of him. The impure spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. The people were all so amazed that they asked each other, what is this? a new teaching and with authority. He even gives order to impure spirits and they obey him. News about him spread quickly over the whole region of Galilee. It's quite an amazing first day passage, isn't it? A lot happens in it. But just as I was reading that, really a couple of thoughts struck me. Um, the first was at Jesus's baptism, it talks about heaven was torn open and the Holy Spirit rested on him. And one of the things we can celebrate this morning is heaven is open over our lives. And why don't you just take a moment right now to remember that you're living today under an open heaven and invite Father's love afresh into your heart and uh, God's favour to rest on your life. And the second thing was that when Jesus invited the first disciples to follow him, he said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. And I believe part of carrying an anointing of the Holy Spirit on our lives is that we impact the world around us. And I just felt prompted to say, over these 21 days, maybe there's one person that God wants you to pray for over every one of these uh, 21 days. And each day, just be praying for that one person who doesn't yet know him to come to a knowledge of him through these 21 days and maybe for you to have an opportunity to share with them. So I'm just gonna pray, I'm gonna bless you and release you to have a wonderful Jesus-filled day. Lord, thank you that Jesus was so fruitful in his ministry because he knew he was loved by you and because the power of your spirit rested on him. 
And I pray for each one of us that today we might know that we are loved by our Heavenly Father. We are loved by God. And I pray that each of us will know there is an open heaven over our lives, that your spirit might rest on us. And Father, I pray today, Lord, that you will put the name of somebody on our hearts. And I pray that over the 21 days, we will have the opportunity to share something fresh of the love and the life of Jesus with them. May God bless us all today and over these 21 days in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.